Cutscene time. And into asylum, like a great black engine roaring to eternity, ravaging the already benighted landscape with its savage, malevolent presence. And within the legions of the truly damned, insanity, sheer and stark, and once in human form, now gutted and torn by eons of glutted indulgence. Their bloodlust flecking the oily walls, living in the shrieks of victims ensnared, hanged, drawn, and quartered by the serpent's squalid writhings. This is the place I have not wanted to dream of, and the dream is now the place I partly live through. Yeah, like you don't get all that all that detail. Um like the walls and all that, you don't get that in the original. Damn. Thought there'd be a cat out here. <laughs> about to get some tougher enemies. I always like the, these footstep sounds. that yet <laughs> eh, I guess all right goes the same place <laughs> nothing Oh yeah, the, the front of Asylum is completely redone in this. It looked like before it's just like a wall and a door. <laughs> this is like way cooler. I don't think the searchlights do anything, but like all this stuff, none of that's in the uh, original. It's like faces. I don't know if they like put anything in here. I guess not. Hmm. I ought to go visit Nettie. Nah. Pretty cool. I don't know if they put anything out this way. Not looking like it. Just a big open area. Who's 
Who's holding up the ball? Is that me? Looks like me. And another me. Yeah, we don't have the key, so we can't open this door yet. So we go this way. I bet the fire hurts in this difficulty. And same with those those things. We'll probably not just run through it all. Very tempting to save here. I can get these. Actually, I think I will. Gonna be a problem because it, it wastes my ammo. Wait a second. Okay. It thinks I'm clicking the center button. Yeah, it's like make the center button is like being triggered. You might not be able to jump up there in the remaster. No, just jump, dude. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Open up the controller and disconnect this one button. No, I 
saw that coming. Shit. <laughs> Alright, fire bad. Yes, sir, you ever play this? Oh, come on. I, I know I saved for that jump this, not here, but a little bit later is where I should have saved. Shadows. Oh well, I'll get them later. Nothing up there. My God, this truly is a terrible place. Oh, you can like see faces in that. Can I roll? No, you can't roll backwards. Could that be say do the backward turnaround? Stuck on the door. Yeah, can't go that way yet. I don't know. Set it. All right, got some voodoo back. And I'm on the 
almost dead. Can I save? Oh great, the guys with guns now. Dude sniped! Shit! Night. Oh, James, what's up, dude? Yeah, the doors. Your favorite doors. Nettie was right. They are the other dark souls. The dark souls. Best doors in the business. Yeah, I'm playing on the uh, the new difficulty that's in the remaster. It's much harder. <laughs> Just the, the the like the fights are actually like fights. The enemies are uh, are not just like pushovers. Oh come on, where did that guy come from? Damn. I got it. I I got to figure out this controller thing. It wasn't that big of a deal when I played before, but now that my. Uh, my like voodoo ammo is actually really important. I can't just be like wasting it because the controller is bugging out. I'll be borrow a controller from Mike and see if the issue persists. Ah, oh, this, this is a serious walk of shame to get back there. James, see how beautiful this game is? Oh, come on. I wanted to get to the experimentation rooms this stream so you guys could see the first new zone that they added. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. No. Let's, let's take out those guys first. That one guy that came from behind before. I would love to know. Like, where, where is he coming from? Damn. <laughs> like, do I have to. Where are you coming from, dude? Um. 
Like he's just spawning out of nothing. No! Yeah, he has a lot more voice lines. Everyone does. I mean, just that opening cinematic, Josh, there was a whole extra cinematic or two in there. Like, there's just so much content that was cut from the game uh, just to make it fit, you know? Oh, come on, how did he, how is he not? Yo, HRG, what's up? I don't know if it'll trigger my raid alert. I thought it would. I thought I had my alerts on. Where's the dude? There you are. No! Shit. How you doing, man? You still, uh, you on, still on Gen 2? Still in gold silver? Or have you moved on to stadium too now? <laughs> I jumped! Catching Nidoran? You're not a Pokemon god? I don't know, dude. I saw I saw you beat Stadium One with uh, some questionable some questionable Pokemon. Those three guys. Yo, Pixel, what's up, dude? It's going all right. Uh, finally getting a chance to play this game. How you been, man? A lot of, like a lot of Rocket League in it up. All right, I don't think I want to fall down there. where we just were, but what? What's in here again? Nothing. Oh, trying to fill the decks. Dang. I don't know if I ever filled the decks for Gen 2. I definitely got original 151. Where's this worm? I think maybe that first one. I can never remember which is the right one. One of them is just a waste of time. It takes you back to like the beginning. I think I chose, yes, I did choose wisely. Now, the question is, Get these guys. This is when having like the Marto weapon is awesome. It has like some homing properties. If I jump down there, I'm just gonna die immediately. Come on. Oh, come on, give it to me. Uh, 
breed what you don't have. Are there not like a ton of things that are hard to catch? I really don't remember that much about Gen 2. Alright, hell yeah, we got, got one. We're not jumping down there with one health. Or two, or three. Pretty sure the melee swings will just one shot us. One thing that would be cool in this game mode is if you got stronger as you leveled up. You know, like you took less damage, but kind of the whole point of this mode is just being very difficult. So I get it. Riveting gameplay, I know. Yes! No freaking way! There's a third one! <laughs> oh man! Oh, that was. What? Through the wind? Dude, alright, that would have sucked. That could have killed me through the window. Killed me. Whoops. Actually, intentional death. <laughs> yeah, like this whole entryway is not in the original. It's just a, a door and a wall. So, very cool. Getting there, we got 67 of them. Nice. Guttural pig sounds, I know. All right, man, have a good night. Thanks for popping in. Appreciate it. Hope to see you soon. Yeah, if you like, if you went here before getting the voodoo weapon could be tough.
Fighting these projectile enemies in a hallway is brutal. Alright, that's the extra attack. They do not have that here as well. FPS skills. Is this playable on N64? This is the remaster that's for PC and, and new gen consoles. Like you can get it on Switch, you can play it on Steam, you know, whatever. But the original game on N64 is, is very good and holds up in my opinion. Uh, but playing it like this with modern controls and all these updates is is pretty great. So um, I recommend if you want to play this game, I definitely recommend doing it this way. Uh, but if you want the full the full N64 experience, I uh, I mean you really you can't go wrong. All right, was there? Yeah, we'll just keep going this way. But no, the remaster itself, definitely not playable on N64. That's kind of the whole point of the remaster. All right, now we can go over here. I forgot that their shots actually bounce off the walls. So a fun trick in the original, if you uh, pick up a Dark Soul and are holding the shoot button when you do it, Nate you'll just spam right. shots. They are gathering the Dark Souls. So you can like run it into a bunch of guys and just hold and shoot, and you'll just start, you'll just be shooting them during this screen. Oh yeah, uh, Lifer, this is this is uh, definitely one of my favorite games. Recommend it. Uh, it's probably like 15 bucks on Steam right now. Uh, worth it for sure. Uh, it's a your first playthrough will probably take you like. 11 or 12 hours, so you, you definitely get your money's worth. Especially, like, and if you actually like watch all the cutscenes and, and read like the lore and stuff, uh, probably even longer than that. For complete crazies, these guys are totally organized. Which definitely helps me some. All right, experimentation rooms. So this is a, a new zone for the remaster. It's not in the original game. This whole new, this whole zone we're going to. Across the millennia, they have built oh, a mind. cathedral of pain, pain and worship at its altars of blood. Yeah, the original is really good. Um, so like. Another another thing you could oh, oh oh I went to the wrong okay another thing you could do is play the original and then play the remaster to see so you can like like appreciate all the new stuff I guess
Uh, the original does not have this crazy difficulty on it. It's so good. Good way to learn. Holy crap! Those guys do not have grenades in the original. Alright, so there is a warp up here. There it is, alright. We just wanted to get that. I think. Get a Govi down here. But now, like, anytime I can get someone to play this for the first time, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Because it's just, like, one of those legit hidden gems. Uh, two pieces of advice if you're gonna play this on N64. Uh, there are in-game video settings. I would turn up the brightness as high as it'll go. And the next piece of advice is to Google the, the overworld map that comes with the instructions and use it when you play. Uh, you will just get way less lost. If you do exclamation mark map, SM, uh, you can see uh, like what it looks like. So the Gobi's on that side. Oh, I just jumped across. Easy. <laughs> yeah, it's never on any top lists. Um, you know, it'll always get overshadowed as like an adventure game by you know, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Uh, in my opinion, it's better. Um, in like almost every way. I guess the, the music in Ocarina is better, but the, the soundtrack in this is excellent. It does a really good job of like setting the atmosphere and everything, but it doesn't have like, you know, those catchy tunes the way Ocarina does. But like world building, this is better. Um, story, this is better. Uh, combat, this is better. Movement, this is better. Uh, annoying owl to deal with, this is better. <laughs> Bomberman 64 is a really good soundtrack. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I think I have it in my top ten. If you look at the, uh, if you look at my the Google Doc, exclamation mark progress. But I grew up with that one, so I like just you know spent hours and hours listening to that soundtrack. It's really good. Yeah, this whole this section of this zone is also new. Oh crap. Oh, it went down there. Although I will just start at the beginning. So. Not too big of a deal. Like all oh, this is this is not in the original. This little movie projector. Oh, uh, okay. So this is this is where a lot of people get lost in the original. You get this item and you're not really sure what it does, but if there are in-game things to like that tell you, but it's it's easy to miss. Uh, definitely, as a kid, I, I I figured it out by accident. His weapon, it's just like his gun is charged up with these voodoo powers. Um, 
it's a Shadow Man. It's a, it's a comic book uh, series of this like like voodoo warrior god, uh, and it's like a line of Shadow Men throughout the the ages. But this one is special because instead of wearing this like mask of shadows, uh, this person like embeds it in his chest, so he's like forever the shadow man. But yeah, he has all these like voodoo powers. Is that the snake? Is that Jaunty? Oh no, I'm stuck on the wall! Whoops. Yeah, and that's um. Okay. That's one benefit to uh, playing the games in chronological order. Instead of, uh, like, you know, alphabetical or fan voted or even random is um, you're kind of guaranteed to have a steady stream of good games because that's how they were released. Like, yeah, there are some bad streaks in there. You get like five or six games in a row that aren't very good. But for the most part, that's, that's it. You know, doing it randomly, you could get like five or six really good games in a row, which is fun. But that just means you're going to have the opposite of that at some point. You know, like, like the Beast is doing it uh, in a random order. And he, for like the longest time, hadn't played a single football game. You know, he's like 100 games in. He hasn't played a football game yet. So it was like, I mean, now he's, you know, like 170 games in or something. But you can see where... It, that might be a problem later. <laughs> we just end up playing a bunch of bad sports games in a row. How authentically am I playing? Uh, when I'm actually playing the N64 games on console, it's, uh, it is on EverDrive, but I am playing on console. So there's no, there's no emulation at all. You know, I'm playing on an actual N64 console with an N64 controller. Not that that matters, but... Um, and you know, I also not that it matters, but I, I do play on a CRT. You know, I'm not like I don't have it hooked up to my monitor, but it is on an NC4 console with an NC4 cartridge. Oh, this no, this I'm playing on a uh, PlayStation controller because it, like it has modern controls, like the con like the you know the intention of the remaster is to modernize it some and it, it I mean it's just so nice having the having the, the two joysticks for movement is great um, having the, the weapon wheel is awesome again playing the original on the original controller it's fine that's you know how it was meant to be so it it, it works but this is it's just better all right, so do we go? So since like I already know how this works, I usually will skip this. But we can I even go this way yet? Oh, yeah. I don't think there's gonna be anything here for us. Yeah, like none of this stuff is here in the original. Again, tons of artwork and just like visual stuff is added. Holy hell! All good. Get our health back. Um, let's. I think we can go in this one. So those symbols, the different hallways, is for like the five serial killers. But one of them starts out open. One of these gateways, and it is not this one. I think it's the Jack the Ripper one, which is this one. Not get your voodoo back after you die. Be 
be nice if they gave you like one bar. Dude, the, the rebound. No. I wonder if there's a death count Damn. at the end. So one thing about when I do beat this on this difficulty is it unlocks a uh, new game plus. So I'll be able to start a new game with all my like powers and everything, which should be pretty fun. Oh, Jack the Ripper's isn't open either. Interesting. Maybe none of them are. So there are like some gameplay things, some like progression things, I guess, that they change. So maybe this is one. I seem to recall Jaunty speaking of corpses and gateways as though the two were one and the same. But how do I make this bloody vessel work for me? See, like that doesn't exist in the original, and one of these is already open for you, so you kind of you see how it's supposed to work, and that's like the. Oh my god. That's like the tutorial. Damn. We'll try some other ones though. I don't think any of them are going to be open. Because I think with the new zone, they, uh, they just made the item a collectible in the new zone. That's probably what they did. So yeah, normally what happens is you, you, you know, you're exploring, you go to, you go through like one of these portals that's in that, that dead body up there, and it takes you to one of the five zero, serial killers, and you try and fight them, and you realize that you can't beat them, because you don't have your shadow powers. I, no, no, dude, I... I love the N64 controller. You will not find uh, a much bigger supporter of it. Dude. It's funny, this controller is actually giving me problems. Because, uh, the, the, like, people hate on the controller, but, like, the games were built for that controller. So, like, it, it makes sense. It all, it all works. Is two joysticks better? For sure. Alright. How... How did I get these? Yes, that's how. See, this... It's a problem having... with this controller is when I go for these like big jumps, it pulls out my my second weapon and starts like spamming. Oops. Shoot. Like it's not even letting me put it away. Which means I think I like have to do that. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, it definitely didn't age well. I, I get that. Because again, dual joysticks is, is definitely better. Um, one thing about the N64 design though, that for that controller that is superior, is the fact that when you want to play a D-pad game, all you do is shift your hand to the other side, right? And then it's a, a D-pad primary game. As opposed to having to like stretch your thumb to some weird position like modern controllers. Or in the case of PlayStation, you have to shift your you shift your thumbs for the joystick. 
Because the D-pad is in like the primary spot. You didn't know how to hold it as a kid, it's in the instructions. But yeah, I, I, I get it. I'll, uh, and it, people do hold that controller differently. Like, I've, I've seen several different grips for it. Dude, getting these is tough with this freaking controller problem. Damn. I really do have to hit up Mike. Let me collect my cat Yeah, like I'm not pushing these buttons, it's just doing it. And that's, that's a problem. I don't remember it being that bad. See, all these modern features, and it's the new controller that's screwing it all up. It is unbelievable. <laughs> Definitely did not have to make this platforming this difficult. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, PlayStation controllers, I think, are, like, bad if you're, you know, mostly playing joystick games. Holy crap. And then, you know, Xbox is bad if you're trying to play d -pad. Meanwhile, N64 is good for both. Whoops. Uh, but that's also why they, they make those, you know, like, pro controllers now, where you can swap out the D-pad and the joystick. So when you're playing a different game, you can switch the positions. <laughs> Not as bad as... No, see, I think moving your hand is better because then your hand is in a good position for that game. Oh my god. It, like, slides me to the left as I'm about to jump. Just give me my freaking cat out. Yeah, cause just like like stretching your thumbs down, like in, having them in that position for a long time, like can't be good for you. So you know, just moving your hand to a, a more comfortable position is, is the way. Oh my god! All right, two more. forgot we actually have to fight things yeah 
that's that's just miserable. Holy hell. Yeah. That's the thing, like if it's yeah. I think it's I think it might be a little worse for D pad. But yeah, that's that's the whole that's like what I'm getting at is with this with sixty four controller you don't have to. Oh, they're just trying to pop each other. Yeah, it's not as bad for analog because you're not like picking up your thumb over and over. Like you would be for D-pad. It's just kind of like smooth rotating motions. Still probably not good for you. Oh, there's three here. I forgot we have three meter now. We can go to the Temple of Life. Maybe we do that. That actually does it. Oh, there's only one. How to get the cheat that turns you into a, a dog? But that's that's gonna be crucial for our playthrough. Surprise! Oops. That was pretty good. one go. I feel determined. Whoops. Yeah, we're getting it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, switching controllers is tough. For sure. The only reason I have a PlayStation controller is so I could play D pad games on the computer. So like, you know, platformers or, or other fighting games. You know, like when I was playing Dragon Ball Fighters, I like, I like playing pad. So. That was why I got it, because it's a D-pad primary. But here I am using it for analog, because it's what I have. I guess, you know what, I could be using my, my Pro Controller. I forgot. Oh, wait. God, I had to do 
tower. There were two of them there? So yeah, none of them start out open. Alright. No, I, I, Temple Life, I still... I don't have what I want. Enough of what I want to go there. Ten four. Yeah, let's go to the... Let's go to the experimentation room. All right, so this is three. We need to go to two. All right, all right, all right. In the original, there's just one switch here, and you just go back and forth. But there's an extra zone now. So this is the new zone. 